What's your name? Erica O'Brien. What I thought about the program before I joined it. Um, I was kind of excited and I was kind of happy to try something here. But at the same time, I was like, you know what? This might be one of those kind of lame things, but when I joined, I was I loved it. It was amazing. I just feel cozy, and I almost feel like it's kind of my home away from home in a sense. Most of the people at my school haven't been affected by cancer, and they don't really know what it's like to be affected by cancer. The kids either don't really understand it or they just don't really get thought of, in a sense. And here, the kids are definitely thought of. Cancer has affected my life by um, my grandmother. Uh, she was 71. On Thanksgiving, she was diagnosed with um, lung cancer. And she recently passed away in August. I remember the day she told me that it was, she wasn't going to last long. Um, and she just wanted to keep the trust with us. And she just decided that it would be really good if we went through that. So it would be good if we came to Gilda's Club to help with the support. My mom, um, she, she will cry in front of you. She's not like shy like that or anything, but she doesn't really talk about that kind of stuff a lot. And with my grandma passing, she didn't really know what to do. She just, when she passed, she was like, um, just Gilda's Club. It, everyone here is so nice and welcoming. She just figured that that would help us a lot, and it has. I've asked her several times, do you ever regret having kids? And do you ever wish you had different kids? Or stuff like that, and she always says no. The only thing she regrets is not having more kids. How important to you is it to share your story? Um, for me, I was really close with my grandma, so I really want to share my story, and especially for other kids that are affected by cancer, they need to know that, like, no matter what, you're always going to have something that's going to go wrong, but you've got to just work with it. That's what, that's the hand you were dealt. Is there anything you learned from your grandmother? I learned how to make an awesome pumpkin pie and an awesome banana bread. Um, and I learned to be strong. She was just, I know your parents supposed to be your rock, but she was my rock. She was, I loved her so much. We saw a little bit of your musical side too. What was that about? Um, that was the York Lions Steel Band. The York Lions Steel Band is um, basically run by the Lions International. I play thirds, um, which is drums about this big and that tall, and there's two of them on a stand. Um, I kind of feel alive and happy. I just feel like dancing. You could just joke around at practice, and you can dance while you're playing. And I, when you hit a run, which is when you just hit a single note and but really fast, it just makes you feel so awesome because you finally got it. I chose um, the steel band to be part of my story because um, I find it's a big part of my life. Like if my friends ask, hey do you want to come over, it's like, no sorry I gotta go to band and I don't feel bad or sad that I can't go to my friends that I have to come to steel band because 
It's so fun and exciting. Amazing. Is there anything you want to say to your viewers? Um, I think it's best to stay, have hope, believe in miracles.